Hey there guys, there's something I wanted to show you real quickly before we head on to account for non-interest bearing long-term notes receivables and that's just a different way to account for the discount or the premium that may arise when we're amortizing a note. And what's going to be different are the entries we'll make. So I'm going to go down the bottom where we are right now and I'm going to start with our recognition entry and last time we recognize the note at fair value or the present value of the cash flows and that was the present value we saw at the top was 81,508 so we we reported a debit of note receivable and stated that the balance was 81,508 and we gave up cash 81,500 and eight. Now a different way to account for this is to use a contra asset account known as discount on notes receivable. So uh, we know that we gave up cash of 81,508 and what's going to be different with this method is that we're going to report the note receivable at face value which is 100 thousand and you might be you might be saying hey Dave this does not make sense because we can't report this note receivable at a hundred thousand that's overstating your asset and you can't do that and you would be completely correct what we're going to use is that contra asset account called discount on note receivable and that way we'll have an accurate net realizable value for our assets so the discount is the difference between a hundred thousand and the eighty one thousand five hundred eight which is 18,492. That way, if you were to look on your balance sheet, you'll have your asset section, and you might have some assets like cash and accounts receivable, uh, property, plant, and equipment, and then you might have your note receivable. And using this method, it'll be reported at 100,000, but the thing is, we're going to have a balance in our contra asset account discount on note receivable of 18,492. That way we're going to have an accurate net realizable value of 81,508. So whichever method you use, you're going to still have the same accurate carrying value on your books. You can kind of think of this method as the, it's similar to the gross method when accounting for sales discounts uh, while the method we used in the previous video is more like the net method. Now let's look at what's going to change for the, the journal entry for interest. So I'm going to move the journal entry over here and we know that we received cash of $4,000 and then if we look up at our amortization table we can see that the interest is 6,520. So the interest we've earned is 6,520. Let me just write that down. Interest income, 6,520. And instead of booking, or instead of amortizing the discount just through note receivable, we're going to be amortizing the discount by using the contra asset account. So we're gonna be debiting discount on note receivable and that's just going to be the difference between 6520 and 4000 which is 2520 so we'll be slowly amortizing the discount over the course span of the six years and we'll have six of these entries and then finally at the end we'll derecognize the notes and after six of these these entries to report the interest, the discount uh, will be completely erased because at the beginning it had a balance of 18,492 and by the end of the six years it'll be uh, at zero since we will have reversed it. And when we derecognize the note, all we're going to do is we're going to receive our cash back, which is 81,000 or actually I should say uh, 100,000 and then the 
credit amount will be the note receivable for 100000 since that is what is on our books. And then you won't have your note receivable account anymore and the discount will be completely erased as well and you'll have your cash returned back to you. So why do we want to use this method? Well, it's a little bit more transparent in that if some external party was looking at our books, we might uh, it might be easier for them to see that we're amortizing a discount instead of using uh, instead of using the note receivable account to amortize the discount. So this is just a little bit more clear. Hopefully that kind of hopefully that was pretty understandable. Um, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial when we cover non-interest bearing notes receivables.